and it's headphones nail. Welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review of stuff that I've been watching and playing for this week. So this is going to be kind of a intermediary style um, set of reviews, just because I didn't play uh, Knights of the Old Republic this week, um, mostly just because I was catching up and finishing the season for Fallout. But I did get a chance to do a little bit of a deep dive into Roller Coaster Tycoon for Android. So if you're already subscribed to the feed, then you would have gotten that earlier this week. And because of the audio issues I had, I thought I would do a quick summary update in this um, episode as well. So to start it off, um, I did want to get through my review of Fallout Season 1. Um, overall, it does live up to the hype that it was getting, so in general, I was hearing a lot of good things. If you never played the video game like me, then you don't really need to worry about it. There were a lot of times when I was try actively trying to look for places where, like, okay, if I played the video game, would this make sense, or did any part of this not make sense? And for the most part, I did not have any issues like that. Watching the whole show just um, A to Z, it work for me they you know you have the adventure set out by lucy to find her father going up to the surface meeting people like the ghoul and uh, learning about the brotherhood and um the guys in the mechs and all of that um, learning a little bit more about their backstory so um you know lucy living in her sheltered lifestyle and learning about the world the guy from the brotherhood uh, maximus i think his name is maximus or maximilian who lived his not really shelter life but more of a raw lifestyle on the surface with a brotherhood learning about the shelters and how life used to be and um was for um in other areas besides his own and what the brotherhood had been teaching him and then you have the ghoul um in there who was there before the apocalypse happened which the only thing that kind of bugged me about that was was I actually don't remember them really explaining how that happened, how the ghouls were created or anything like that. So it's one of those things where by the end of the season, when they go, when the ghoul and Lucy go, not really walking off into the sunset, but to go find where her father, Lucy's father went, um, and the ghoul already knowing about it, they actually kind of set it up to be explained in season two. So one of those things I do want to do is find out if they explain what who the ghoul was and how he became who he was. Or is that a result of living on the surface and uh, whatever experimentation they did? Um, was it a result of being in that mech armor because he was part of the Brotherhood or anything like that? So overall, they didn't really add too many questions, but they answered enough to the point where it interested me the whole time. I couldn't wait to watch each episode. They were pretty evenly paced. There were a few times here and there where they were a little bit on the slow side, but for the most part, um, it was pretty well paced. And um, when you learn that Lucy's father was behind the whole thing, uh, rather than um, I think it was Moldova, the lady that the ghoul was after. So that's actually something I wanted a little bit more about. But they set it up nicely for season two to have the ghoul and Lucy team up again with and then also have that adventure for Maximus to go find Lucy again and all that so explain even more of the backstory so this one season did quite a bit and they all had enough of um it wasn't really a cliffhanger because if they leave it as is then it's fine too which is a good sign of a good storytelling in my book but um they set it up where they could have another season and um, take the story even further, continue the story, explain more of the world and the universe, and all of that stuff. So with that being said, um, for this, so earlier this week, if you're already a subscriber to the podcast, you would have seen a audio and also a video up on the YouTube channel of my review for the Roller, to Roller Coaster Tycoon expansion packs. So you can install the expansion packs, uh, you know, via Steam um, or other various other places, but um, you can also use the, th the three expansion packs on your Android device. So what you're going to do is you're going to install Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic 
from the Google Play Store. Um, I assume it's the same for iOS, but this is gonna be a purely Android review. So I'm gonna assume that they're both the same versions and um, equivalent feature set. So once you install, uh, once you buy and install Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic for Android, what you're gonna go do is click on the plus sign at the bottom right of the screen and you'll get your three expansion packs, uh, Wacky Worlds, Time Twister, and the toolkit. Um, there's no group purchases, so you do have to buy them individually. Wacky Worlds and Time Twisters was $1.99 each, and then the toolkit is $5.99. So I'll start with the easy one, where in the toolkit it lets you set up your own scenario. So if you want to set up your own level to share with your friends and create your own park, you can do that. Um, you can also build your own rides to use in the game. So let's say you want to see how see if a ride the idea that you have would work if you need to make adjustments um, do you think it's going to work not work will the car get stuck but not have to worry about the cost of it or worry about the time it takes to do it while playing the game then you can do that in the ride designer and you get access to all the rides and then you'll be able to build you know like in the video i did a five loop roller coaster um and you can use the various other rides to uh, or the, use the various other rides to create your own roller coaster and then whatever it costs in the game to put it in the actual game when you're playing you'll be able to do that so the toolkit is a pretty nifty way to play around with all the various rides and features of roller coaster tycoon without having to worry about you know guest ratings and prices and uh, whether it's going to fit or not or anything weird like that um, as far as wacky worlds and time twisters go, they add a few extra levels with various themes in each one. So wacky worlds is kind of like different places around the world. So you get to go to the Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, the Grand Canyon, and various other places. It's separated into three categories of beginner, challenging, and expert. So I, I'm planning to play the, um, one of, I, one of the uh, beginner levels in Wacky World and Time Twisters now just to see how they go and see if they're any good. Maybe try some of the other ones. Um, I did play around a little bit with the Great Wall of China level, but I kept failing at it. It was kind of weird. Like It's almost like they wanted you to have um, all the guests in the park right away, so I couldn't quite figure out an easy way to do it. But if I do, then I'll um, share that gameplay but so far I haven't been able to do it so that's why I figured I'll try one of the other levels and see if I can figure it out and then time twisters takes you to different periods of time to do different things so the one that stood out to me was the um, rock and roll one so kind of like a 50s and 60s style um, park and then there's a few others one like there's a futuristic one a prehistoric one and a whole set of maps in there separated into the same categories as wacky world so um, if it goes well, then I might try more, but I kind of wanted to try each one just to see how it goes and, um, see if it's, uh, if it's worth the purchase. But so far it seems interesting it, because the Great Wall of China one was a little bit weird. I don't know if that's like a setup for like some of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 levels, but at least I'm familiar that that's a scenario that can be done. So something to keep in mind there. Um, if you... Um, use Google Opinion Rewards or have Google Play credits. So one thing to note when you're buying the add-ons is that you can use those credits against the purchases. The Roller Coaster Tycoon is tied into the Google Play system. So for me, if you have um, use Google Opinion Rewards and you have a bunch of credits there, you can use them against the purchase. So um, definitely for something to keep in mind there if you're not sure about buying one or all of them or if you don't want to spend the full price and you have that option. But Overall, so far, I do recommend um, checking it out if you beat all the levels in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, or if you're just curious about things like the toolkit to build your own roller coaster to see if it'll work to begin with, or if you want to design your park to share with your friends, then all of that are options in the game. And all of this is on the Android device, so you don't have to worry about copying and pasting files, transferring stuff, uh, putting stuff in the right folders or anything like that. You just install the game from um, the Google Play Store and then install the add-ons um, straight from within the game. So um, the only thing I don't know is if you can restore the um, purchases. So let's say you buy the game and then you switch phones, you reset your phone or anything like that. So um, then you, I don't know if you're able to transfer. I assume you can because it's a Google Play purchase. 
but it's one of those things where I do need to look at the forms for that. So I hope it can be done, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So that's actually all there is for this particular review. So the only other thing I wanted to mention is that I did upload a quick uh, short on the YouTube channel for a couple of updates I made to my Android home screen. So I think I posted one with my Knight Rider inspired theme with a uh, visualizer that's kind of like the kit vocalizer box. So um, I just wanted to put it up there that it was all done in custom live wallpaper maker, something I'm an Android app that I mentioned a few weeks ago or so. Um, so it's very nifty where you can, and I've been meaning to play around with that visualizer a little bit because I wanted to see how, how I can make something like that. It's not quite up to the speed of whatever you're listening to, but you do have to play around with things like the width of the bars you want to use, the or the, the actual width of the object you want to use and then the number of bars and spaces and things like that. So you do have to make sure you get it in the right place. Like if you have eight bars and then four breaks versus 16 breaks or anything like that, or eight breaks, eight bars and eight breaks, 16, and then like the, you can break it up to, down by eight, 16, 32, I think 64 and 128 or something like that. There might be one extra in there, but that's the number of bars and then you can have up to that number minus one of breaks so if you have eight bars and seven breaks um if you have uh, 64 bars and 65 breaks things like that so you have to play around with it to kind of get the visual feel that you like so um what you see in that youtube short which i'll have linked in the show notes is exactly that so um something to uh, if that's something of interest to anybody, then that's kind of a simple way to do it. Just set up a quick bar and then you have it scale out and set those bars as a visualizer that reacts based on what you're listening to. So it works out nicely with whenever you're listening to music or podcasts or anything like that. So with that being said, that's all there is for this particular episode. So if you have any questions, comments, reviews, or anything like that, you can comment on this post by visiting the social media sites I'm on. All are linked on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. Um, all videos go up on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash pateln01. And of course, as a, page, as a subscriber to the Patreon, you get early access to the show, ad-free versions of the podcast early access to the YouTube version if you want to listen that way and all of that good stuff. Um, you can check that out at patreon.com slash Patel and zero one. And of course, so this week's um, image and background audio were again done in image effects and audio effects. I used the keywords apocalypse, gunslinger and theme park. So that's kind of the inspiration behind the music and the picture for this particular week in case anybody is interested about that. So with that being said, that's all there is for this particular episode. Everything is linked on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. But thanks for tuning in to this particular episode, 